Welcome back to the 195th thousandth fly fishing report from Watershed Fly Shop. It's enormous exaggeration, but that's okay. Um, all right. Well, first of all, I want to talk a little business. Um, <laughs> people are always asking us how business is going, which I appreciate. I, I think people are genuinely concerned and and you know bought into bought into our business as a community uh, which is awesome I mean I ask friends and family that own businesses all the time how's business going that's a that's a common conversation which I appreciate um, and and I'm not gonna necessarily speak to our business but I'm gonna speak to small business in Corvallis small business Corvallis is struggling a little bit right now uh, there's there's many reasons behind it and we can go into those individually if you want to come to the shop and talk about it but uh, I'm going to petition for everyone, uh, including us, every, every small business owner and small business worker to, yeah, you know, if you're going to buy something, if you're going to buy a pair of shoes, we got shoe places here in town, okay? If you're going to buy something nice for your wife, you know, something kitschy cool, I, I don't know, feminine or whatever, um, or your girlfriend, whatever, there's a place right across the street, Burlap and Lace. Go give her some business. She's got awesome stuff in there. I bought my wife all kinds of stuff in there. You need a new pair of boots, go to Sedlax. It's an awesome boot place right here locally in town. Um, if you're gonna buy some, you know, a sleeping bag, there's a place right across the street from us, Peak Sports. They have sleeping bags. If you're gonna buy some coffee, there's actually a coffee store right down the street. How about that? Uh, that's, that's owned and operated here locally. Pretty cool deal. Um, if you're gonna buy a fly rod, you happen to have a fly shop in town, you know that. But, uh, you know, I just petition to you guys, uh, you know, our, the folks that listen to us a little bit, uh, really try to buy locally. And I, and I say that, I say that probably more seriously now than ever, and I've always obviously been a fan of it. I, you know, you get into small business because you think that you can, you can gain some support from your community and whatnot. Um, it's just really important. There's a lot of struggling businesses right now um, for the last month or so that, that have been hurting. And um, I'd, I'd love to see people like we saw at the beginning of the pandemic that, that purposefully came out and supported small business. I think it's, it's very easy to buy things online. Completely understand that. It is, it is very easy. I, I just, you know, nothing good comes easy though. You know? I'm playing, I'm, I'm, I'm not playing, but I'm coaching football right now and I say that to my kids all the time. Nothing good comes easy. I, I, I'm a firm believer in that. Um, so, support your local businesses. Please, please, please. I, I know a lot of you do, and so I'm preaching to choir to a certain extent, but um, it's really important to support your local businesses uh, now more than ever. So, let's get to actually uh, a little bit more business now is a great time to buy some waders and I say that because we have a phenomenal selection of waders that we just got in from Sims exciting stuff uh, we have the tributaries which we've been waiting on for a year now over a year uh, we have a decent little selection of the tributaries we have a really good selection of the G3s uh, we have a, a decent selection of the G4 zips so Fantastic. We've got waders. We have more boots than we've ever had from Corkers and Sims. Both, both just fantastic uh, boot brands. And uh, they, they make a lot of different boots. So we've got the, the tributaries, the freestones, the, uh, the flyweights, and the G4s and Sims. And then we've got the greenbacks, buckskins, dark horses, and river ops. They've got a relatively new boot that I haven't memorized, obviously. So, all sizes, stock, ready to go. If you need a new pair of boots or waders, come on in. Um, now to the fishing, the really fun stuff. So, fishing for trout right now is insanely good. I um, mean, and, and it's probably only going to get better in the next two to three weeks. Um, and then once the real cold weather comes, it, it'll die off a little bit. It'll probably actually kind of go back to what, what it is right now, which is still really good. So you've got five weeks to fish for trout in the valley where everything's open, and then 
you know, some of our rivers do remain open all year. But uh, the fishing has been fantastic. We've been seeing fantastic caddis. Um, and some sputterings, the, the first October caddis we've seen, that's awesome. So tan, brown, caddis, got to have them. And that, 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 that can be an all day long uh, event. So that's awesome. October caddis, got to have them. See, when you see them flying, throw a bug on the water. When you don't see them flying, throw a bug on the water. Okay, you can fish pre-hatch, post-hatch, during the hatch, make it happen. Those fish are looking for their last big meal and that October caddis happens to be it. Okay, moving on from there, and I'm talking McKenzie and the Sandy Yams, the Lucky Mute starting to fish okay, uh, the, um, the Courseville Creek, the Middle Fork, all fishing great. It's, uh, the fall is a fantastic time to fish, period. And then you're gonna have, you're probably gonna have four weeks of unbelievable streamer fishing. Now I know a lot of y'all don't, don't streamer fish and that's fine, but you need to. Uh, so it's not fine, shame on you. I'm, shaming is a thing. So we should probably shame people that don't streamer fish, right Eli? Is that a thing? No, he's, he's laughing at me. Okay, I don't wanna shame you, but you should really streamer fish, man, or gal. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be bonkers. We're gonna come out with some cool stuff where Hopefully Eli can catch some streamer fish on camera. He's, he kind of, yeah, he, he turns into a special case on camera. So you know, you'll have to ignore that part of it, but he'll catch some fish nonetheless. Uh, and we'll, we'll show you all how to do it. But um, streamer fishing, whether it be, you know, throwing streamers up against a bank from a drift boat or uh, micro spay fishing, fantastic. You're gonna have some really, really good weeks um, going on with that and you could also go over the Deschutes and do that. It's really good throughout the fall and basically every single river in the valley those fish are Will eat streamers with reckless abandon. So you must do that uh, Next thing would be salmon steelhead fishing mm, I'm gonna hit on the steelhead fishing that I know is good right now and that would be that'd be the road uh, Just that's relatively close to us and, and that's a legit fishery that fishery is going bananas. It's very, very good right now. It will stay good. A lot of people ask me this. It will stay good through the end of November. And then you'll have really good days here and there in December even. And that is, yes, for summer steelhead. They have a, they have a long push of fish from, you know, the end of June all the way through. You'll, you'll catch fresh fish in November. Um, so that's great fishery. And then right now we've got awesome very, very, very cool fishing coming. As soon as we get a little more rain, the rivers get a little fuller with Chinook and Coho. So that uh, that's coming uh, next week. Quite frankly, we should have some sustainable rain to go and swing flies for Chinook and Coho. Mainly Chinook at first, and then the Coho will trickle into the river. And um, yeah, guys are getting them in the river. So it's happening already. Uh, not not with great consistency, but it is happening. Other thing I don't want to forget to mention is um, is uh, sea run cutthroat. It is bonkers good right now. You must do that. We have a good little selection of sea run flies. Come on in and grab them. And uh, if you want a trip for that, let us know. If you want a trout trip, let us know. We're not. I'm not personally booking salmon trips right now until we get enough water. Uh, we can stay in touch on that and uh, yeah, thank you for the support. Um, I, I, I hope and pray everybody is okay. I haven't, I haven't seen a lot of people in the last month or so, but uh, I hope to see you soon and God bless you. Thank you.